Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take another look at wave energy. Uh, specifically, at the end of our, our video where we were looking at uh, trying to answer the question, should we strike like a whip? We showed you how we can send a pulse down a rope. We looked at this particular physical model. We did it a little more extensively than we're going to do today. I just want to reintroduce the concept. But we looked at this model and we looked at it with regards to a, a standard approach to throwing a, a, a strike. And we, we looked at the similarities and differences that were involved. And then in closing, I mentioned that this is more specific to our white crane methods of manifesting power than it is to perhaps a more standard approach to generating power with a strike. And, and what I mean is this sort of shaking to get energy into something. Well, in white crane kung fu, there's four main branches of white crane and a, a, a fundamental component to white crane systems is shaking power. What do I mean shaking power? Well, one way to envision it is like a dog when it gets wet, how it shakes its body violently to get the water off. Uh, that's what we're talking about here. And it, it's very similar to, to a whip. A uh, basic way to illustrate it is just to let your hands hang loose by your sides and just shake back and forth. And you can work on doing that and then doing it perhaps a little more violently and, and seeing how you can get more energy out through your arms. Uh, but even then, taking this model, the combative approach to, to manifesting power using the shaking, well, it differs from what we were looking at with a rope because now we have to apply some muscular tension and take that energy and direct it where we want it to go. Uh, so today, what I want to do is I'm going to show you a basic pattern because actually learning and developing shaking power, it's very often confusing for students. It's something that I think many students actually overthink what's going on. So there's a way uh, that we, uh, a particular strike, a particular pattern we use that helps to remedy this. And what that is, is we're going to extend both our arms out in front of us, but it's going to be short range. So this is a short punch. We're just going to throw our punch very short distance. Now what I typically tell students to do, just to illustrate how uh, the body very often knows what it wants to do to maximize power. Well, I tell students, extend your arms in front of you, and now what I want is you're going to throw a punch, you're going to pull your front hand back slightly, and that should be in initiating from your, your shoulder. Okay, so there's rotation that's involved here. We're going to pull back on this arm, push forward on this arm, and you can use standard rotation. Just rotate your waist like you would naturally, but your goal is to accelerate this punch so that it's moving as fast as possible and is as powerful as possible on impact. So what we're going to do now, we're going to watch Zach throw a couple of punches. We're going to see what happens. I want you to pay attention to his waist because right now he's going to focus on using regular rotation to throw these punches. Go ahead. Let's get, give us a couple. Okay, throw another punch. And now what you should see, and I've done this with many students, it doesn't work with everybody, but many students, they naturally start shaking. And this is what the crane is known for. You can stand relaxed for a second. The crane is more of a close range fighting system. So it's known for developing methods of, of generating short range power. And so instinctively, the body knows it wants to, to shake because of how violently you have to bring your hips into action to get energy into your strike short range. Uh, one other way of looking at it, an instructor, a couple of instructors actually I've worked with that said to me, you know, if you were to wind up and throw a punch, you have greater distance to accelerate that punch to get more energy in the punch. We can't do that in a fight. But if you can shake your hips violently, uh, it, the hips are doing the winding up for you. So that's our pattern. I'm, I'm going to demonstrate it myself. We'll do a couple more just to give you a, a little bit further illustration. You have one hand out slightly in front. And I, I encourage you to try this. Just try exactly how I had Zach. Try using standard rotation. See if it works for you. Okay, one hand is out slightly in front of the other. You're going to pull back, pull from the shoulder. That helps create maximum rotation. Think of the rotational dynamics and, and uh, the concepts involved there that we've been looking at and exploring. So I'm going to pull back and punch forward. And there, there's your punch. It's just a short range punch. It's a great way to illustrate some of the shaking power. It's one of many patterns in the white crane systems. White crane is known for patterns that are designed 
to teach you different ways of moving your body to maximize power. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that tip. We enjoyed sharing it with you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you soon. Take care.